Many Canadians are mystified these days when government goes wrong, whether it be an airport, whether it be a transit line, and they don't know who to hold responsible. Years ago, there was a minister, and the minister either fixed it or got sacked. Now, we don't know. But John Tory is my guest right now. He is a lawyer, a businessman, a keen follower of politics. And I put the question to you. Do we have bad government and bad projects because of a lack of accountability? There's no one sitting there saying, I've got to do this? I think it's the main contributor. And I think the contributor to lack of accountability isn't kind of red tape or the absence of boards. There are lots of boards of these organizations that build things and do things. There's so many boards, you there don't are. know them all. The main contributor is fear, I believe. Fear that if you make a mistake, and I think the fear is somewhat justified. If you make a mistake and you're on one of these boards or you're a senior public servant or a politician, you're going to get lambasted with the uh, advent of social media and so on. And so you just tie yourself in knots, whether it's through red tape, whether it's through studies, whether it's through, uh, you know, just things that happen that cause nothing to get done. Well, I hear that point and I understand that point. But then what about th the fear of being labeled an incompetent? Well, I think, <laughs> you're on this board I think this people, airport's people not live running. With that now. When I say people live with that, I think people in government live with the label of being incompetent. But I think, I, more importantly in a way, I think the public just live with kind of shrugging their shoulders when they say the government is incompetent. I can't get a passport. I can't get this done. I, the, the Eglinton uh, transit line in Toronto yeah. never seems to get built and nobody can say a date on which it will be finished. It just Billions goes on and more. on. But it, it goes on and on. But I think it is fear. But that can't, that, that, that's got to stop. Well, it does have to stop because you do eventually get these things done, but they're years after they, ha they, they should be. Right. They end up, because of that, costing more, uh, and it is just incompetent, so like you say. So should we go back to the old days, like in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, when a minister of the transport, and if there's a problem with the Crosstown line or an airport, he either or she either fixed it or they got sacked. Well, you know, you'd like to say that. And in business, that's what happens. There's that degree of accountability. If you can't get stuff done, you lose your job. But right. the fact is, if, if every time something doesn't get done or every time a mistake is made, you fire the politicians, <laughs> there'll be no one left. And that's not but fair no either. Might because go to public rare, life. No, well, that's true too. But even if they did, rarely is it the minister or the city councillor or the mayor who personally, you know, didn't follow up or and, and and some of those people I can tell you from my own experience actually did call people into a room and say you got to get this finished you got to get this fixed and yet they still go slow because they're afraid to be bold afraid to do something that's out of the box I have 20 seconds left for so what's your formula for better government I would say you know some kind of pay for performance I really think pay for performance if you said to people well look okay if you're working on this project we're going to pay you or not pay you based on performance it works in the private sector and isn't just about money it's about recognition it's about respect it's about pride and I just think that's been overcome by fear now everybody's afraid to make a mistake afraid to be late afraid to tell the truth and nothing gets done we're gonna cut that last 20 seconds and send it worldwide John Tory <laughs> thanks very much three minutes liberties and freedom of speech are under attack in Canada like never before so let's keep this discussion on the air PayPal write a check and please include your address so I can write a thank you letter to you and ask your friends please subscribe it's important to keep this on the air. And thank you.